Hello viewers, it's the me and team. Welcome back to Let's Play Roleplay Challenge Julian Assange, also known as Poodle Poodle Hair, uh, because of a little college memory of mine. Uh, you might notice something a little bit different about the recording this time, and that is because I have been playing with settings. Um, just to show you, I've made a change to my audio. Yes, I'm still recording from the microphone, but I've changed, changed my audio settings under record from microphone. Look at this. I enabled the stereo mix under my, under Windows Vista, and um, that's going to allow me to play back the game sounds as well as the as well as my mic in. Now, when you enable stereo mix, apparently this does nothing. This was what I was used to using for my recording, and that is no longer relevant. It is this that is the recording volume, obviously, since stereo mix is uh, enabled. But this playback volume, which was muted before, and that was fine, actually is important now uh, under stereo mix. So I have that going, and I have that maxed out because I do not have a microphone boost that is available for the normal microphone recording and this actually will affect both the game volume played and my own um, and my voice at the same time um, raising or lowering my speaker volume but regardless uh, this should be able to, uh, with the settings I have, bring you a combination of the game volume I'm playing as well as uh, my commentary without affecting, uh, well with me still using my headset so that actually uh, seems to be working out pretty well for me. I don't know. Alright, we have another Hindu missionary. I've kind of forgotten what I've started doing since the last mission. But, or not mission, but uh, video, I should say. And But it looks like I am trying to spread the faith around and capture some barbarian cities. So let's roll with that. Yeah, it's been a little while since I last played. Let's just drop a cottage here so the jungle can grow. And more swordsmen. Actually getting quite a few swordsmen. That's impressive. Uh, I was chopping here. Yeah. Got the greenery monument ziggurat. Ziggurats with the organized traits. So good for us. They are amazing. And I really don't need a library. But a forge is helpful regardless. Uh, maybe even a lighthouse first since we're organized. Get the food bonus from it. And apparently I need to re-enable my resources. Okay. Some of you were probably already yelling at the screen to do that before I even thought of it. But, oh well, I got it on pretty quickly, so hopefully that was not too bad for you guys. And yeah, I just need to spam some forges now. I'm looking around. Can I get down there first? It would be so awesome if I could poach some of the city sites from the AI. Um, this is actually dangerous. You can spread to here because there's no. Uh, it's the same landmass. Uh, normally, you can only spread two tiles off into the ocean, but because this is part of the same landmass, he can his culture will go here as soon as he gets 40%. So this tile is going to be contested. Um, I'm not sure that matters a whole lot, and I don't need the marble particularly, but it's good to note. It will affect my city placement. You know, maybe I'll drop a city either here. Whoops, clicked on the wrong thing. And turn instead, but yeah, maybe drop a city here, or maybe one there. A for alternative, or something else that starts with A. I'll let you decide. So, yeah, really not sure on that. Just gotta get my S words into position. Let's road the hill, preparing it for the mine. And it looks like a lot of my tile improvements are becoming set gradually. Uh, lots of cottages. Cottages is very fun. I think I settled that these would be Hammer City, so I am going to farm them and just try to chop these. Whatever. I don't have calendar yet, and Montezuma does not have calendar. This is always a problem. The AI researches things so terribly slowly, and I don't have a choice. I have to put up with it because I am running espionage, economy. Yeah. But, on the bright side, it's not like they're ever actually going to get ahead of me by any material degree. So, just keep stealing on technologies and roll a little on them. King of kings. Yeah, Look very cheap technology, stealing costs, I like it. I don't even need a proxy capital, although later in the game that is definitely a possibility. So much money, nobody willing to trade anything unfortunately. I can't say that I enjoy that reality. But that is the reality, so I'm going to deal with it. Going there, and looking around here, I'd really like... 
The fish is probably better than the sheep, but, I mean, come on, that's kind of an asinine placement. I can get the... Actually, no. I can improve the sheep right away if I just drop a city there. But that means I'm going to have to either go here or here. Um, hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. Don't want to cough into the mic too much. You guys do not like that. And, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go here. Actually, I really don't want to fight for the culture over the clams, so uh, not a whole lot I can do. It you know if I wanted to get both clams, I have to like go there and then you know drop a city all the way down like there to make that work or there. So um, I really don't want to put up with that, so I'm not going to. Simple as that. And I think we're good on swords, dudes. Like seriously, we're we're good. We don't need more more S words and do I get any benefits from anything along the lines of vassalage or serfdom or slavery it doesn't really seem like I am uh, whipping a lot any longer mostly because I decided on cottage spam so I could consider a serfdom swap except for the fact that I really don't need the worker turns anymore worker turns uh, actually, no, you know what, we're going to do it, just because this is a really weird game, and I'm going to play a non-standard Beyond Belief. And the top surfed him, which, you know, even the AI usually knows better than no top surfed him, but I'm going to do it, because this is a roleplay challenge, and what better way to roleplay than to Julian Assange than to do really odd things. So, there you go. Still having decent income. Uh, lots of espionage on Montezuma slash Persia. And yeah, let's go get, let's improve the actually good resource. Thank you. That's beautiful. This looks like I have it in my culture, but it actually, oh no, I'm using it. So this city can, actually it has plenty of food with these. You know, five food banana and a couple spice tiles. Very nice. Um, <laughs> nice and spice. Good. That's Excellent, I can I can definitely rhyme. I congratulate myself on rhyming. Alright, stealing uh, code of laws, because I can do that. So that the and yeah, I mean, this is, this is pretty much how the espionage setups work. And you steal until you can get an advantage, and then you kill them with your advantage from stealing all the time. Also on the bright side, I don't have to worry, like if I want to go Medieval War, I really don't have to worry about bombardment at all. I can just, uh, how's it go, uh, support a city revolt. I'm making so much espionage that that is going to work out very well, actually. Get a road there. Still don't have calendar. And the AI, only one of them has it. They don't want to trade, although Sully Mans here might actually uh, get too friendly with me eventually. I do not really want to gift him tax for nothing, however because I might want to kill him eventually. And Solomon is of the Roman Empire. I have to keep remembering that. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not in, as intuitive as it would normally be. And yeah, now I have the epic workers going on the serfdom civic, which is just funny. I mean, I still have some tile improvements to make, and I wanted to get into organized religion, so... I mean, it's really kind of a reach anyway to be building them, but I really don't have only any alternatives. I, whatever. Anyway, I'm going to get another great spy, probably make another Scotland Yard. Scotland Yard's very strong for this kind of game. And do not flip my tiles. Don't be a jerk, please. And, okay, he didn't culture bomb me at least, so that's, yeah, that's one good thing from him, I suppose. Just going to continue cottaging. I love cottaging. It's so easy. And okay, looks like, uh, oh, I, the barbarians are going to harass me, but I happened to have my archer nearby. And if I settle a city, I am immune to it because I have the Great Wall. So I am actually just fine. I have plenty of swordsmen now. I am going to go with that approach. Does anyone have theology? All I can say is I hope that Hattie builds the, uh, Builds the Apostolic Palace. Or no, I don't, because she is... Which one is she? Is she the Ottomans? No. She is the Dutch. She's down here. So it would be kind of hard to steal from her to get it and build it myself. 
which is unfortunate. So I think my prospects of having the uh, AP religion are quite low, and that's rather unfortunate because the hammers from that would be enormous. But okay, we got we got down here. Um, guess going to workboats, the granary library forge. No, uh, there we go. That's what we're gonna do. And well, I can't really control for that because. I don't want a workboat in every city that I um, have queued, so yeah, oh well. Anybody good? Yeah, we got a negative 50% cost spy or two here. We might as well take it. No, I didn't mean to support City Revolt, but I got caught anyway, so that's fine. Um, okay, well, I don't want to keep getting caught, though. That sucks. And I really don't have that much else. <laughs> like, I, I'm ahead. I have the tech lead by stealing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know what to say about that. That's fun, but wow. <laughs> Any day you want to get the uh, get, get some calendar for me AI, that would be a good day. But again, it's not like I'm in danger of losing, so I guess it's fine. I don't know. <laughs> Starting on a road down to the next city because this is going to be a logistics nightmare if I do not. And I think it's time. Um, I'm going to take a combat and try to get a medic going. There we go. And now I'm going to work on... Not that. No? Okay. I'm going to try to work on getting the heroic epic using my sword, which should now have medic... Medic sword. And just mine this. Alright, so... Going back into the city screen, we can have a look at... Um... Well, actually, no. We're going to max this slider out to have you look at something, and that would be the outputs. Where is it? Um, espionage from Uruk or Lagash is my next best city, and it is definitely better than settling. Which on uh, settling a great spy is pretty strong anyway. But let's just drop this in there then. I really am not going to run the slider up though because I don't need it. I'm able to steal everything I need without doing that. But even so, it's going to... It's, it's, I have the money so I can easily steal. Oh, very nice. Everybody except the person I'm focusing on has calendar. <sighs> okay, game. Well, we can uh, put some EPs into De Gaulle, because we have plenty on Montezuma for what he has. And maybe get a spy down there. Maybe. Let's try it. Let's get these two spies down to De Gaulle for another steal. De Gaulle of the Ottomans. Because this mad scientist likes to confuse me. Oh, also, uh, mad scientist does not do videos, but he does do the walkthroughs. And since, you know, he plays way slower than me, and once I got the 50580, I felt pretty, uh, pretty confident that he wouldn't be in front of me. So, I checked out the thread, and we have quite a few, uh, comments from him. He posts a lot of screenshots, and, uh, you get some fun roleplay times. I'm not sure if I can, yeah, like this. <laughs> I mean, come on now. So, yeah, he, he does his role plays pretty well. I pretty much just abuse the game via the roles. So, pick your poison there. Um, but, okay. Going back to the game. Just wanted to show that off because he's, uh, his, his walkthroughs were an inspiration. And I have shadowed his games for a long time, viewers. Uh, even back to the times when I was just starting out as a Civ 4 player. And he was actually a weaker player back then as well, playing on Monarch Marathon. He, um, yeah, he, he had an espionage game with Mao Zedong, and I'll never forget it. I just couldn't win that so many tries. And uh, he won it no problem on his first try, and actually was able to keep up with all of the rules that he had going. And uh, I actually broke a rule my first attempt by accident, building a the Oracle Wonder. And that sucked. <laughs> So, okay, got that. I'm actually going to start moving my other swords over here so that I can quickly capture Saxon. You know, I've since replayed the map and beaten it, but, you know, much later. But I, I learned a lot, too, and I don't know why I'm not just trading for Calendar, seriously, because I can. I said... Um... There we go, I can just trade for Calendar. 
for everything so, uh, the season and get it off the douche here and back to Montezuma. It's not like they, anybody really has anything important other than Hattie, who is too far away, unfortunately. And, it, you know, it might be necessary just to build up a military force and, say, wipe Montezuma out. Um, maybe wipe out the Ottomans as well. Just because it, it's this is getting ridiculous. And if I fall behind in tech, I have thousands of gold, lots of espionage. Nothing to really deter me from uh, killing people and then trying to steal back into the race. Still checking out the technologies. I mean, look at this. I have access to longbows, uh, swords, catapults. I am in... Am I in Vassalage? Of course I'm not. But I could be. I could use Vassalage to get five experience units. So that would be pretty strong. Just going to keep uh, my Korean workers here. Okay, maybe maybe slavery was a bad idea. And not getting out of slavery is a bad idea. And apparently it'll take three turns to switch back. You know what, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna do it. See, that's why Serfdom sucks, viewers. Even at times where it seems like it might be ideal, it still isn't. It's terrible. And, okay, you can go over here as well. Because I'm just going to heal up here in two turns and capture that. It's really hard to get heroic epic when you build the Great Wall. Unless you can get it through barbarian cities. And, alright, finally we have access to calendar resources. But, yeah, just uh, I need to whip in some of these cities, and I can't. And this anarchy really hurts. No, don't build a fort. I guess that's what I was trying to do, is build a fort. The city has some improvements in it already, so I'm going to move up there and get another. Thank you, sir. Can I have another? No, that's something different. That is something different entirely. Okay, yeah, I get started on the spices. Um, sure. Cottage and get down there, down there. Only two archers, so uh, somebody's been working that already. That's crazy. Uh, did he lose his unit, though? I don't know. I don't know why Saxon only has two archers. That's You got me there, viewers. I don't know. And I lost quite lamely. But I have my medic sword left over, so I can still take the city it's easily enough. Please tell me you did not uh, take the freaking fish tile. No, this city needs that so much more. Even after I improve the sugar. Because I have two sugar and a banana. And everybody knows how awesome bananas are. Especially when used in lame jokes. I do need a monument first. And then I'll go ziggurats. Because I am organized. And ziggurats are an awesome benefit to me right now. And it looks like I'm actually going to get the majority of the cities over here. Which is pretty funny. Sorry AI, you kind of you kind of suck. So, okay, I'm actually going to do a transfer of swords. This guy can come on down here. And just move into position. Um, you know what? It, I, it's fine. I can wait and try to uh, unlock Heroic Epic. And yeah, now I forgot that I was sending spies down here. Can I do anything with them? No, they don't even have anything that is of value to steal. In fact, I'm just going to buy aesthetics. Art there we for go. Art's sake is an empty phrase. Get back up there. Art for the sake of truth. Do you have anything art for me to steal? Good and the beautiful. That yeah, just because I can. Actually, that's pretty good. That true. unlocks elephants for me. So I can go with the elephant catapult strategy against somebody. And that completely hoses immortals. Immortals aren't going to do anything to mm -hmm. elephants. Um... You know what? I don't think so, Monty. I don't think so. You can probably declare on me for doing that, although you're still at war with Hattie, and you will probably not declare on me until after that. And uh, by then, it might be too late. And I still need to get my workers down here improving tiles. So do that. Shift-P. Yeah, I hate reaching over and hitting Shift-P. It's almost faster just to click. They're very similar. I can click pretty fast or not. And you know what? I'm trying to unlock Heroic Epic. I guess I can. I'll, I'll make one gamble attack with my Medic Sword. No, you just stay right there. And if that doesn't work, I'll just take the city. It's fine. Get this hooked up. Whoa. 
Um, Coloxin. No. No. That choke isn't even mine. Let's not do that. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was watching some StarCraft 2 videos by HD StarCraft, and somebody told him that the plural of Colossus was... Well, he knows it's Colossi, but someone told him it was Coloxin. And he actually started using Coloxin in a few videos, and it really pissed a lot of people off. Like, crazy. Like, seriously. <laughs> There's no reason to get that angry over it. Especially because it became, like, painfully obvious that he was kidding <laughs> pretty All quickly. Women merely so, I don't know. <laughs> that's, uh, and their entrances, that's whatever. And yeah, I'm honestly getting a little bit annoying now at the culture, so I'm going to have to uh, put him down. It's a, uh, it's a mercy killing, though, so it's okay to do it because of that. Alright, come on, get down there. Doing pretty well here, probably just want to get another settler out. Uh, it really doesn't matter which city I do that. Yeah, I have so many improvements to build, and I'm so slow with the cottages. Definitely want to be running some universal suffrage eventually. But no need right now. And all right, a little bit of a pause break there. Yeah, just moving the sword into the city. You got some planning going on here. Um, do I really need the Colossus? Colossus? I really don't have a lot of tiles for it. I clicked on it because I have copper and it looks shiny, but let's not actually build it. Um, in fact, this is a reasonable hammer city, and as a result, we will go like this. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Alrighty. Um, okay then. I think it might be time to start on elephants and catapults by the time that's done, but I will hold off on queuing them up just in case. Because all these cities are going to start finishing. And what are you doing? Get in there. Still nothing to steal except for... Oh, he has machinery. Never mind. And that means I have to watch out for crossbows. As if crossbows can do anything to elephants. Ha! <laughs> Alright, we're back from a pause break again. Sorry about that, I lost my place once again. Um, well, not really losing my place in-game, but I had to take care of some things, you know, IRL, so and that happens. So I am now back, and oh yeah, I was going to gamble on an archer attack. I can probably spend the turn healing first, though, and still have a chance at getting uh, three experience points from the battle. So I'm going to do that, and yes, and no. So, okay, I'm not going to get a heroic epic this way, and I'm just going to take the friggin' city. If uh, unit cycling will ever let me, that is. Uh, unit cycling could be so frustrating in this game. Whatever, I'm just going to come back to it. Anyway, uh, yeah, as I noticed in the last video, Montezuma had something for me to steal, and apparently Solomon is willing to sell me music. So, still not running the science music lighter, still getting love. access to things either through bribery, which is always awesome. Got to love bribery. Or through um, uh, stealing, which is also awesome. Just awesome all over the place. Anyway, we pick up another city here. Uh, granary. Probably want a work boat, actually, first. Then a. Um, oh, wow. <laughs> There's a lot of good tiles here. Do you, where's my monument? Work boat. Monument. Granary. Lighthouse. Ziggurat which provides food in Warcraft 3, just as an FYI. I'm sure you guys care about that so much. I'm actually going to skip on the monastery here and finish the settling spree. I think that is my best course of action at this time. And oh my, is he plotting war while not at war? Yeah, okay, so there's a good chance that he is actually going to attack me. Yee. Well, that's okay, that's why we have longbows. make some into longbows and it'll be time to produce some as well get to quit producing spies out of this city and switch over to a barracks I think this was the city that was producing military in the past however and yeah we'll just send one there but then we're gonna start making some longbowmen just you know it's this whole staying alive goal I think oh he could target either one though and that's going to make this a little bit harder uh, he's almost certainly going to come this way to enter my borders. 
and uh, whether or not he goes for Kish or Erdu is um, it, uh, it's up in the air. Uh, I'm actually going to invest in a walls, and that is the proper pronunciation, viewers. A walls, and um, use that to buy time, uh, depending on which city he targets. Rather unfortunate, but whatever. Uh, it's not like he has a lot of technologies for me to steal any longer. I'm just going to pick up machinery from him and call it a day. Uh, can I uh, steal that now? No, not yet. But soon enough. Soon enough. Get some sugar tiles taken care of. Pour some sugar on their face. With a little bit of uh, non-love. And you know what? We are going to do this. We are going to send elephants in catapults this way for lack of better alternative actions. Um, still want to get the settler, that's fine. Probably don't want the religious buildings in this city any longer. And why is this so poor in production? That is kind of silly. We will speed it up a little bit, although production in the city will still be terrible. And that is the downside to cottaging. That's why you'll see in a lot of my games I do not do it because it is on the weak side when it comes to production. I don't think I have the luxury of missionary spam right now, however, I am going to do War Elephants Catapults. I am in Vassalage now, so okay. And just uh, waypoint them there, yeah. The other thing I'm going to do, since I don't think we have a peace treaty going on right now, is uh, make a demand. Just one gold. It'll piss him off, but he'll accept it. And that'll give me some turns to prepare my walls and uh, really set up in case I am forced into a war, which is a very likely case. Yeah, still got a barbarian archer. Not so worried about the barb archers. They're, uh, they kind of can't attack me thanks to the Great Wall, so no worries there. Yeah, walls, walls. And I get the boost from stone uh, towards walls. Oh, actually, I can just trade once again uh, for machinery and uh, if I use my tax I might be able to swing it no not quite oh wow the Aztecs actually dropped their war plans that's surprising and what that's going to allow me to do um, is why is he cautious with me I don't get it I should have a lot of oh spy I uh, refuse to give tribute made an arrogant demand okay well that's acceptable. That's the reason. I mean, I've I've done a lot to incite distaste from the from not the Aztecs, but rather the Persians. But yeah, he drops his war plans, which that's just going to give me extra time to prepare, and I will uh, prepare an offensive force rather than a defensive one. It's been a long time since you guys have seen me take a Tumonti in the classical era or medieval era. I guess I'm in medieval era at this point. Yeah, so, uh, yeah, I think since the very first video where he declared on me and I was able to take him down as a result of that, I could trade him feudalism, but I really don't want to do that. So I will just try to accrue some wealth and prepare a defensive force, or perhaps an off offensive force. Uh, it can function in either capacity because elephants are imbalanced. Awesome. This city, I forgot about the city entirely. This has just been a garbage filler city this entire time. I'm going to build a road to it though. I know I have sailing routes or whatever, but this is going to be, that'll be fine. I um, probably want to take this sword back into the fray. I do have negative 50% cost, so I might as well try and steal technology. There we go, machinery is mine. No longer have to do anything else to get it. And yeah, the espionage is so good when you get all the multipliers, and that's just an example right there. Uh, once again, probably just going to start building elephants and catapults, or uh, actually, do I have a city spamming along those? I do not yet, but I want one city at least spamming along those. I think I'm going to rally everything to Kish. Yeah, and uh, so this city can spam longbowmen, and everybody else is just going to build elephants and catapults. Or eventually trebuchets once I get engineering. And he'll have longbows, but um, a lot of his cities are not on hills. And longbows do not s really scare uh, elephants with any kind of siege support at all. So that'll work out. 
looking here, I can try to get compass from Sully Mans, who is that friendly, and that's useful to me for sure. I'm actually almost even in power with Montezuma, which is very fun. That means I'm in a pretty good position to uh, take care of him if I need to do so. Alright, I'm uh, just gonna throw some cottages down, got most of my tile improvements here done. I suppose I should just start sending workers over to here and uh, you know, set up my final cities that I'm going to get without war. Quite a few cities without war, actually. And Great Wall was very good. You'll Actually, if you read Mad Scientist's uh, walkthroughs, he decided not to pursue the Great Wall at all. He thought by the time he could settle the stone and hook it up that it would have gone already. And uh, I guess he didn't consider the possibility of settling directly on the stone and getting such a head start on it that you could actually finish it before 2000 BC in city number two. And that really worked out for me. Still um, farming the Great Spies. That's so good. So good. Such a boost. Um, yeah, obviously the primary draw is the, uh, what's it? Is the uh, unique building, the Ziggurats plus organized is, uh, you know, that's where he's really getting a lot of his oomph, but you know, the just just having the Great Wall for the Great um, Spies really making a difference here. You, you settle Scotland Yard a couple times, I can run the slider, I can get enough espionage to steal virtually anything in a heartbeat. And that's a big advantage. It really is. Now, I don't need this settler rally to uh, appear. We're going to cancel the rally for that city. And just rode that. Yeah, I'm going to be building up military very slowly. And I, it really doesn't matter. I don't care. This city could actually not have to focus on commerce. Yeah, I'm going to focus on hammers. But these, uh, you know, these cottages are fruit neutral, so I might as well work them. I could eventually spread irrigation there, but uh, without being able to manually research civil service in a timely fashion, the draw of waiting to farm additional tiles like that is reduced. I mean, I still want some cities doing it, but it's just not as good. And just having to wait that long to get those farms spread, I can actually work cottages during that time. It's like the farm. It's like flipping with the cottage and farm role, like the. Now suddenly the farms are the tile that have the opportunity cost because I could be working a cottage that whole time. <laughs> Quite terrible. But that's uh, that's how it is. Um, was this a pop too? Yes, I can work a workboat there immediately. Very nice. Got a chop going on the jungle. So okay, now now the Persians are plotting war again. Oh, wait, they might not be targeting me. In fact, they are not, because they cannot declare war. And uh, they decided to go back into war mode. Yeah, and you can see he moved his forces away. He decided to go back into war mode during the mandatory 10-turn treaty. Which means he is going to go for, almost certainly, for Hattie. Uh, he could be declaring on somebody else, like the Ottomans, because they are a border target. And Montezuma, well, all AIs do a war check for their border targets first. But um, there's no war prob for Furious. I mean, anyone's no war prob for Furious is really low. Like AIs are super likely to declare on people who they are furious, uh, or with which they are furious. So just picking up some elephants, catapults with City Raider 2, uh, pretty strong. I can trade Montezuma for gold. I really don't need the drama for anything else. So yeah, <laughs> I've once again accrued enough gold and enough other things to uh, really be strong here. Can I steal philosophy? I cannot. But let's see how long it takes for me to accrue enough espionage to steal philosophy. Oh yeah. I bet. Yep. <laughs> well, I was already halfway there. One turn of espionage investment and I already have enough. And once again, 870. When right now it would, I'm paying less than half in espionage that I would in science. So so much for this being a roleplay challenge. This is more of just a roleplay, because the challenge aspect is minimal when you are having this much luck with the espionage economy, and that's really true if you want to do it. I mean, it's a little bit micro-intensive, but it's really true any time. Yeah, I'm actually going to build some spies because I can support city revolt and not have to bombard. I don't know, actually. I'm making a decent chunk of catapults, I believe. Got, well, I don't, 
I have two catapults right now in my domestic territory. But if I train some more, um, I should be okay. If he starts getting castles, okay, I'll produce some spies. It's not like it's going to be hard for me to uh, make some spies and quickly drop the cities. I mean, I can get a support city revolt in very short order. And I like that I'm actually stronger than him. That's that's amazing because this is you know this might be epic. So it's you have a speed advantage, but it's still emperor. You know, it, it's you know that that is what it is. And uh, oh, I I should probably make a trireme. I'm actually going to whip a trireme there. I uh, a little bit worried about that barbarian galley down there. It won't quote unquote see my uh, tile improvement just yet. There's a time lag before they start to enter to pillage a recently created tile. The designer knows but the even so, Not when there is we're going to switch to, add, to, when there is nothing left to take away. Um, trebuchets in all these cities that would otherwise be producing catapults. So control click to add the catapults to the top and then shift and alt and click to queue up a trebuchet underneath. Yes, that is uh, pretty much how you do things. Or one way to do things, and with trebuchets, I will be in much better shape. And here, I can just alt-click the trebuchet right away. And one more city. And uh, yeah, apparently, if you just cut certain buildings, you can actually produce some units with cottages uh, in a lot of your cities. So I'm able to produce more of a force than I was expecting to be able to produce. And we're going to whip a monument here. A random de Gaulle chariot. Uh, that's okay. That's that's fine, de Gaulle. You enjoy your chariot ride. Chariots of fire? Nope, just just a chariot. And uh, whip a monument here. I do not worry about chain whipping in these new cities to set them up rapidly. And yeah, just uh, looking good here technology-wise, I should say. <laughs> I mean, the tech rate's actually really terrible, and that's one of the reasons that I am so doing so well on espionage is that the tech rate is piss poor. We're looking at a thousand AD on Emperor, and many of the AIs do not even have engineering yet. You know, let alone uh, they're, they're no near rifling. Whereas a lot of cases, you have to worry about the AIs getting rifling in the 1200 to say uh, 1300 range on Immortal. It very frequently will happen, and even on Emperor that could happen on if you are unlucky. Whereas here, they're just miserably. They're taking so miserably. I still don't have civil service, and the only person who has it is Hattie, so I can't trade for it. You know, the second Solomon gets it, I can at least make an attempt at trading for it. But that's not what's going on, is it? No. So I'm just going to chop some more units out here, I suppose. But yeah, if Montezuma doesn't invest in castles, I should be doing just fine. And elephants are pretty good against everything. Yeah, they'll have some spears, um, but the longbows in my stack will handily take care of any spears, so I don't have to worry about that. And even the catapults are stronger than spears. And uh, longbows can beat pikes if Montezuma somehow gets pikes. There's really not a lot to worry about when it comes to that, uh, just because of the longbows. And I, am, I do have uh, quite a few longbows already, and I'll just have more. Uh, Trebuchets with City Raider 2 are going to hose Monty, even though he will have feudalism. It looks like I can finally get civil service in a couple turns. And oh yeah, I was going to whip that trireme. I had forgotten. <laughs> Somebody said that part of the fun of watching my videos is my micromanagement mistakes. And I find that kind of funny. But it's... I, <laughs> I do make a lot of micro mistakes. I will admit to that. that. That part is true. I do not deny it. Especially because I am playing quickly. Um, also, there have been some... Um, oh, somebody's doing a Let's Play of, I believe, the Nobles Club uh, with Darius, and I will get around to doing that as well. I am just uh, still busy working on this, of course. But uh, once I am done recording this series, I will be doing that. And yeah, I can show that off. You can get my unit down there. And yeah, we're building up a decent force. Actually, a lot of people plotting war now. De Gaulle, Montezuma, and... Uh, Hattie, uh, Montezuma just declared on Hattie again, as I predicted would happen. De Gaulle is plotting war, not at war, and uh, almost certainly going to go for, also be going for Hattie. 
But this is not a bad time to be opportunistic. I will train up a few more units, and Montezuma's forces are going to be, yes, down here, and not very impressive to boot. So I'll leave, the, I'll leave that opportunity to get a little bit further into her territory, and then I'm going to take Monty out. Or at least, at very least, I'm going to uh, harass him a bit. And, oh, Solomon might actually get the Apostolic Palace. That would be useful for me. I suppose I could try to buy it. And no, because I'm really not going to be building it myself. I am building too many military units right now to be worrying about a wonder. Like, all my good hammers are going, all cities are going towards military. Because I'm going to go on a little bit of a sweep here with classical age units. Um, you know what? I can throw some crossbows into a stack. They are not as good defensively as longbows, but they're a little bit more versatile on offense. Not much. But yeah, anyway, this has gone on pretty long with some pause breaks, so I'm going to cut the video here. Thumbs up if you like it, thumbs down if you don't, so the me and team signing off.